Hey guys, it's me, Glitch Games, and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, we're going to be checking out the plugin called Hide Item. Hide Item is a really powerful hide players uh, plugin, and it's like what you see on all the big servers. You've got hidden and shown, and you've got the little icon on the side there. So you can actually choose all sorts of different settings, and we'll be going right into the config because it's really, really customizable and actually a really, really powerful plugin for something that really just hides and shows but there's so much more features there than just hide and show it's actually amazing how much you could put into a plugin that is literally hide and show but um i'll show some pre-recorded footage on screen right now um because i don't want to record the rest of this video at 2 fps but i'll show some pre-recorded footage of how it works with the sh show and hide um and then you've got all the cooldown and stuff so i'll show footage of that on screen right now because um yeah, so I don't want to have that in the video, but I'll show that it's pre-recorded and, and how it works and how it does work in the pre-recorded footage right now that you should be able to see on screen. Okay guys, jumping into the tutorial from the in-game side of things, there's not really much else than pressing the toggle button and a few commands. So we're going to see that there's a few commands here and there's hide, info, reload, show and toggle. So toggle obviously will do the whole toggle thing. And then it also has the cooldown as well. So that'll toggle between whatever you're on. Then hide and show is pretty self-explanatory. Hide and show. Then uh, reload. Obviously reloads the plugin. There you go. And then our last one is info. And that will just show us our plugin info. So there's not really much to go through in-game, but it has a really, really in-depth and powerful config that I'm about to go and run through with you guys. So let's get straight into it. Okay, guys, jumping into this really amazing and beautiful config, uh, you'll see that this plugin is done by um, this thing. Um, so they're running all of the versions above 3.0 and QKing12 is actually the original developer of this plugin uh, who ran versions 1.0 all the way through to versions 1.5.2. So it's actually under new development now because QKing12 wasn't able to uh, maintain this plugin anymore. So it's under uh, new development now, but it's still entirely the same plugin as it used to be. And it's still really good and if not better now. Um, so you've got some information and awesome stuff. Not really much here. You can actually store your uh, player data. So who has their stuff hidden and shown on a database. That's not really something that you will have to go through consider considering you can store it all within the config on your server. But if you want to store it in a MySQL database, well, go ahead. You do you. I don't know why you would want to do that. Anyways, coming into the item settings, we've got some things. We've got whether you need a permission to toggle it. So the permission will be hide item dot toggle. Uh, you've got what slot it is. So my slot is nine. It goes zero through nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, one through nine. Sorry. Um, and so mine is in slot nine. Uh, you've got an option to put in the first free slot available. Uh, that's at false. So uh, this thing is for if you set it like this you can't actually move it in the so this is set for true as me so you can't actually move it in your inventory let's see if that's true that's maybe if i went out of creative mode it would be okay no let me just gms to show you what a normal player would be doing so if they go into their inventory as you can see they can't move it around at all you can't drop it at all so as you can see that's what that does Um, so I really recommend having th that setting on true. Today's video is sponsored by Singoda. Singoda is a new and unique marketplace where you can easily find hundreds of high quality, free and paid custom plugins to improve your overall Minecraft server experience. With the help of community and developer feedback, Singoda is constantly working to improve the overall user experience. Sangoda features both their own plugins and plugins from developer you already know and love. Don't want to take my word for it? Well, why not listen to all the happy, satisfied customers? The link to the Sangoda Marketplace will be in the description, so why not give it a try? So, now for the hide item material. This is the materials that you have um, and stuff. So, as you can see, my hide item is the dyes. Um, 
you've got the dyes in the different colors and then of course they're also enchanted and you'll see that here in the settings you've got the insect 10 which is i believe the green one you've got hide players shown which is the name of this uh if we just switch it back hide players shown that's the name of that and then you've got the lure click to hide players so if we go into our inventory lure click to hide players and then we've got enchanted true so that's the settings for the show one and then same with the hide it's basically the same except it says hidden and ink sack eight which is the great gray one so that's how you change the materials that you would use if it's enchanted the lure and the name there that's pretty cool uh you can change here in the messages section you can change all of the message so all players are now hidden all players are now visible and you can also do uh change the cooldown message with the cooldown placeholder and you've got the no permission message which is also how you would do that next coming into the commands here Okay, so here we have uh, the commands and you've got require permission to use blah, 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 blah. So you've got the slash hide, slash toggle, slash show, and then you've got their respective permissions. And then you can put that true or false, depending on if you want players to not be able to hide or show players. Um, that might be something useful. Um, this, just keep use Elias's as true that's all of the different commands that you can use so if we actually do slash show without the um without the prefix that's what an alliance is and there you've got your show hide toggle alliance um other settings you've got the cooldown i've actually changed my cooldown two three from five and we're gonna hit save file um we're also gonna do um and because you've actually got commands and items in this you can disable either the commands or the items which i think is really cool so if you want only the item to work then you can make only the item work if you want only the command to work then you make only the command to work you do you it's really customizable in the config for something just this, that's all the plugin does. It shows and it hides. It shows and it hides. And that's all it does, but it's got all this customization behind it. And that's really, uh, uh, that's a quality to plug in. And then you've also got config updates. And you can, you've also got the option to rename the old plugin to old config sorry to old config so basically whenever you update it's not just going to replace the config file it's going to make the new config file say com config.yml and the old one's going to be config.old.yml so you can actually still see your previous updates config file which is really awesome if there's any issues with the config file coming over on an update you can easily just copy and paste your um things over and that's really easy to do so let's hit save file and we're going to go into the game and we're going to hit our reload command which is going to be show item hide item sorry my brain just gone a little bit far right there um you'll see show item and then we're going to go reload and now when we do that we should now only have a delay of three seconds rather than the previous five seconds up here so that's pretty cool um that's all the features in this plugin it's quite an amazing plugin you can show and hide and also one more thing to mention this is per world guys so if you guys if you did enjoy today's youtube video i would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a plugin video we're going to be uploading twice a week maybe hopefully potentially uh we'll try we'll try I always say it and then it never happens, but <laughs> we'll try. We'll give it a go. This time it's actually happening twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, <laughs> I'm probably going to do it for like two weeks and then it's going to go back to one a week. No, trust me. Trust me. Two a week. Two a week. We're going to get two a week. Trust me. You put the post notifications on. If, if, if we get post notifications on... The video is going to come. You don't put the post notifications on. Only one a week. Sorry. That's how it works. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out.